Let me tell you about a bird that's more sky than earth. The common swift. You've seen them, maybe. Sleek black arrows darting across summer skies, shrieking as they wheel overhead. But here's the thing. These little aviators are unlike any other creature you'll meet. Swifts are born to fly, and I mean that quite literally. After they leave the nest, a swift may not touch solid ground again for up to three years. Imagine it, eating, drinking, even sleeping, all on the wing. Scientists once thought this was impossible, but it turns out swifts have evolved to doze while flying, shutting down half their brain, letting the other half guide them through dusk and dawn. They chase the summer sun, migrating from Europe to Africa and back again, covering tens of thousands of miles every year. And when they finally return, it's to the very same nest, sometimes the very same roof tile where they were hatched. Now, what makes them so special isn't just their stamina, it's their role in the world around us. Each swift can eat up to 20,000 insects a day. Mosquitoes, flies, little pests that would otherwise swarm our evenings. So if you've ever enjoyed a summer sunset without being eaten alive, you might just have a swift to thank. But for all their mastery of the sky, swifts are fragile. They need old buildings, crevices and open spaces to nest. As cities modernize, their homes vanish. So whenever you see that familiar sickle shape overhead, remember these birds are living, breathing miracles, tracing the same paths as their ancestors for centuries. Poets have written about them. Myths have sprung up around their journeys. And for me, every summer, the return of the swift feels like a promise kept, a reminder of the wild, tireless beauty above us. So next time you look up, spare a thought for the swift, the bird that never stops flying and never fails to amaze.